Hey everybody, Six here. Today we've got a game from the uh, round of 16 of the Into StarCraft Team League. Uh, this is going to be round 16, a Usid qualifies between the Red Terran Abba here on the left hand side of Shattered Temple. Playing against the blue Protoss, uh, his opponent at New Generations Light, one of the best uh, Protosses on our Southeastern Asia servers. And so we've got close air position, so you can expect to see a lot of drop play, hopefully. Uh, PVT, obviously a pretty dynamic matchup. A lot of Protosses love to go for that double forge style. A lot of good robo openings um, just to prevent against like Banshee Harass, and, and you're pretty safe from tanks early on. Uh, I myself love to opt for um, three gate robo expand. <laughs> Um, after cutting a few units and then doing a little poke uh, and just seeing what can happen. A bar, uh, some of his options could be just going mass bio or he could slow push with tanks and I really prefer um, tanks on, on this on this map just because uh, of this choke right here. It, it has been increased since Lost Temple um, but with tanks it's just still so easy to uh, control that space and of course bio play is also going to be a very very strong uh, strategy to go for on this on this uh, map just because of these spawn positions when you get out of fast medevac you can go for those drops and if uh, the Protoss is not careful with those perimeter pylons he could pay very very dearly um, especially just because you know he's going to be going for Colossus tech most of the time and um, yeah, Colossus tech is, is actually quite slow. Uh, so it looks like that. Lights is still getting up his gateway, getting up his assimilator, chrono boosting his nexus, and uh, getting out those probes. Both of the scouting workers are actually going to be scouting um, each other very, very soon. Light should find a bar first. And it looks like a bar is going to be going to get his gas uh, on the usual timing, so we're not going to be seeing any uh, two racks expand or anything like that. Um, and here comes the probe right now. I like this placement of the supply depot actually helping his units uh, spot the front of the map. A lot of players, um, a lot of Terran players don't really like walling in versus Protoss just because uh, their production facilities can get sniped pretty easily from the low ground, especially once observers are out. But really, against a, for a Stalker Zealot 4-gate, uh, sometimes it can be really, really beneficial to actually wall off and um, just to allow your your units to, you know, get get tanked for, um, by the buildings. And uh, here we can see that Light is going to be taking that tower very, very soon. And Abar is actually going to be scouting Light last of all. And one little thing that Light's done is um, putting a pylon here uh, just on this edge to spot for any pushes behind the bushes. I love that play right there. And uh, getting up his Cyber Core, actually not seeing a second gas, which is quite peculiar. I would have thought that we would have seen his second similar to go down very, very soon. And right now, uh, Stalker and Warpgate is going to be chrono boosted out at the moment. And he's actually cut probes, so... Oh, no, he's actually making another probe. Excuse me, I thought for a second we were going to see that Stalker Zealot 4-gate. Uh, especially with this probe still alive in the center. Could be seeing a proxy pylon go up quite soon. And it looks like that bar is going to be very, very safe, putting up that bunker. And he's getting his second gas and a factory. And, and this bunker really screams to me that we might see some uh, fast cloak banshee play. And especially in these positions, it's quite viable. And it uh, looks like that light is going to be pushing forward with a zealot and a probe. Uh, should be pushing forward with that stalker as well. Yes, he is going to be. And uh, look for a proxy pylon to be placed quite soon. Um, but as soon as Light sees this bunker, he's going to pull out of there very, very, very quickly. And uh, Light actually throwing down a couple more gateways if you take a look at the production tab. Getting out of sentry as well, and just in time, that bunker is loaded up, and there we go. We should run back at the moment. And actually unit using the units to try and uh, tank for that scouting probe right there. Uh, looks like he mistimed it just a little bit. Tech Lab going down on the factory, and here comes the starport. It feels a little bit late if he is going to be going for Banshee, so he could either do a late Banshee, or uh, he may just be going for for uh, some tanks and getting out a couple of medivacs as well as lots of marines, which is a very popular Terran style. Uh, Light going to be throwing down his rope, Robo as well, and uh, expect to see the first Observer coming out very, very soon. He didn't get any scouting done just then, and so uh, he needs that OBS into the base quite desperately. And uh, warp gate just finishing up right now, saturating his second gas. These three warp gates are going to be uh, active very, very soon. And at the same time, we finally see that the starport has finished. He's currently not making out of anything out of it. Um, and look for him to swap these two, I think. And it looks like that light is going to be feeling comfortable to uh, expand at the moment. Let's take a look at the units tab. He's currently got 26 probes compared to the 25 SUVs of one meal of the Terran opponent. So his mineral income is going to be slightly higher. And finally, yes, they do swap out. We should be seeing a Banshee on the way. And yes, it is on the way. Tech Lab going down on the factory once again to continue that tank production. But he really just wants to get this Banshee out as soon as possible. Actually, he's rallied it over to the rest of his army. So he may not even use it for Raz. He may just use it for a strong uh, 
part of his army. And uh, one Terran push that I have seen before, it's actually an all-in, is that they get a Raven as well. Oh no, he looks like they had a buy, he's going to be expanding. They get a Raven as well, get a lot of cloaked Banshees, um, maybe even two ports and uh, a, a Viking or two and snipe off your Observer and then the Cloak Banshees just go to work alongside with the tanks and the Marines and here comes a Raven as well so we may just see something similar to that but uh, with an expansion just fitted in behind it and let's take a look at the income tab yes the Terra Mineral income is slightly higher the gas income is exactly the same both players actually are having some nice expand timings it looks like that Abar did scout uh, Light's expansion which did cause him to throw down his own and uh, here comes the first Banshee actually into the back of the base. Light is going to spot it very quickly. Just take a look at that reaction time. Very nice right there. And uh, the first one it does get warped in the, as, as soon as the proxy pilot did spot it. Stalker actually trying to escape. No, it does go down. It, the Banshee will retreat with one kill. Uh, just playing extremely safe right there, knowing that um, the Banshee did get spotted. And uh, actually getting supply capped here just a little bit, forcing the throwdown supply actually on the uh, borrowed supply depot while getting up another depot. This Banshee is going to be get re getting repaired. And um, yeah, Banshees actually, a lot of Terran players do throw them away. But as, as we've seen uh, from like, you know, Terran styles, uh, like Happy style from the European server, there's a lot of value in keeping your Banshees alive for long periods of time. They can go back during the mid game and uh, even help you out there. Looks like a bar's going to be throwing down his, his expansion as well as getting three more Raxes and um, I'm not sure if he, we've got siege mode on the way. No, we do not actually. So uh, these tanks and marines uh, are not going to be very good at holding a lot of ground unless um, unless a bar builds a lot of bunkers and it looks like he's going to be salvaging this one on the high ground very soon, I would hope. At the same time, looks like that Light is going to be throwing down his robotics bay, getting up another gateway, and uh, he's going to be going for those Colossi, even a Stalky here on the perimeter to spot for the Banshee once again. Uh, going to be warping in another one as well, and for the second time, that Banshee's just going to be thwarted, this time not even getting a kill. Um, so Light, very, very aware with his play right now, and it looks like that he's saving up Chrono Boost to get out that extended, them extended Thermal Lance, and uh, possibly his first Colossi scan being thrown down on the army. He should see, oh, he's quite low on units. Oh, he's got a lot of Zealots, and he's got an Immortal. He can probably assume that um, the Robotics Bay is going to be coming out right pretty soon. And at the same time, Light throwing down uh, Perimeter Pylons just to spot for any drops. And this Observer very nicely placed, just out of range of that... Um, of that Raven, but he he's he's uh, in a nice spot to to see any any potential pushes. A bar actually misrallying right there, and um, really curious that we're not seeing siege mode or oh there we go siege mode just starting. Lucky click, and also going to be getting his weapons upgrade level one. Here comes the Banshee for perhaps a third pass. We'll keep an eye on that. But the observer, what did the observer spot it? No, the observer didn't spot it. But uh, either way, that light's just going to be having two patrolling stalkers. But it looks like this this time the Banshee is going to be swooping around to uh, this high ground, possibly behind the mineral line, which could be extremely annoying and uh, cut Colossus production for quite a while as the observer needs to get up. And here comes the Banshee. It's going to sitting on three kills. And yes, the stalkers actually can see it four kills for this Banshee so far. Surprised that he's not Chrono boosting out. Yes, he's going to be Chrono boosting out the uh, Colossus instead of the extended thermal lance for the time being. And here we go, it looks like this Banshee might actually get caught. Uh, I'm not actually sure if it can run away in time. It is sitting on four kills, not really enough. Uh, to justify its worth. Actually, no, four kills is still okay. Um, especially if he gets out right here. It looks like that this Banshee will escape once again. But let's just take a look at Light's vision at the moment. Just using all these pylons to spot for any drops around the map. He knows that that's something his Colossus Ball is kind of weak to. And he knows that this side is most likely, so he's still leaving um, some patrolling stalkers there. I would expect him to replace those quite soon. Twilight Council being thrown down. Um, at the same time, do we have a forge? I'm not really sure if he's getting upgrades. No, it doesn't look like he's getting his upgrades quite yet. Instead, he's going to be getting his uh, gateway abilities, getting Zealot charged before the blink. And uh, with the Zealot heavy composition, that's a very, very nice choice right there. It's a little bit more expensive, um, but it's well worth it, I feel, especially since that last patch. Just making Zealots uh, guarantee that first hit makes them so much more valuable. And Light actually going to be feeling comfortable to pull up his third. Should expect to see a pylon around here. Um, just in case those backdoor rocks to go down. And Light actually spotting this push coming out right now. Four tanks, they do have Siege Mode, one Raven, and a lot of Marines, and uh, three Marauders. They do have Stimpak, Concussive Shells, and uh, they do ha also have the Combat Shields. So a slow push could be coming in. At the same time, Banshee gonna be coming in from, low from behind, um, and these two Stalkers should be able to pick that up. But the real story here is gonna be this slow Siege push. Uh, would expect Light to actually position some of his army on up here on the high ground to snipe the air units. PDD being thrown down in a very curious spot 
right there. And uh, just so that the tanks can outrange these tanks, uh, the Colossi can outrange these tanks from the high ground, excuse me. And maybe even bait some of those air units to come in, but it looks like that slow push is on the way. And uh, a couple of Archons actually being morphed in at the same time. Templar Archives will slow down a long time ago, but no storm at the moment. And it looks like, ooh, this Rallying Colossus is going to take a few hits. Probe even being wiped out right there. It looks like a bar feeling in a very, very nice uh, spot at the moment. Light being extremely patient, actually, just replacing some of his lost pylons. And uh, some of these probes are actually going to be going down. Archon's even in the mix right now. Guardian Shield actually being thrown down, and here comes the push. Zealot Charge has finished, so the Zealots will be able to wreak havoc upon those tanks if they are focused fired. PDD will be thrown down, which will negate a lot of those stalkers. But the Colossi actually doing a lot of work. Immortal able to clean up a lot of these tanks, They're actually forcing. Uh, the Terran to retreat right here, picking off that Raven, which is just so expensive. These Zealots doing so much work on these uh, now running tanks. And uh, really, the above just uh, writhing from that. But luckily, he did keep up on his macro, changing his composition to be very, very bio-based. And it gets this uh, composition. I do like uh, more of a bio bio feel to it, especially if medevacs will be on the field quite soon. And it looks like the first medevac currently in production. Nice horsemen's right there. Able to cut off a lot of that army and let these Colossi go to work. And Abarth feeling very, very uh, under the gun at the moment. He needs to get some medevacs out right now to heal his bio army. And uh, the roles have actually completely changed. A lot of Colossi. Five Colossi on the field. And uh, four actually being lucky number for those swipes to kill in one hit, I believe. Um, on Marines. It looks like that light is going to be pulling back. His third is currently saturated. He should be looking to get a fourth. Maybe even consider uh, breaking down his high yield rocks. But it looks like he, instead he's just going to be taking a position um, by the high ground. More Colossi coming out at the moment and uh, Psionic Storm actually on the way as well. And as soon as Light sees Medivacs, he could actually opt to throw down a lot of High Temple and just start feedbacking a lot of them. Uh, but it looks like this first Medivac is actually going to be completely drained all by its own. And uh, Abar actually going to be opting to go for a drop here in the back. In the back. Oh, oh also with the Banshee. So a uh, nice play right there, but it seems like that Light is going to be... Uh, aware of it already he's he's already ready with a few with a few stalkers should be able to shut down any medevacs coming in that he he does spot and uh, another colossi actually being finished right there and light actually floating a lot of gas at the moment he could uh, afford to replenish some sentries no instead he's going to be warping in for high templar at the same time as this drop keep in mind that a is going to be shutting down in his uh, high yield rocks and here comes some more mineral harass uh these four stalkers need to react right now and yes they will react right now and uh, they start to go to work on the bio forces right there focusing down the marine focusing down that model with the light spike right there not nice, not nice at all. A few more gateways actually in production right now. And actually all those orcs being wiped out by the bio. This badge is still up and here come the High Templar. They do not have enough to storm though, and but they can feed back this uh this Banshee if they do so wish to Oh actually one High Templar getting picked out right there. That was not worth it. Um Light could have been a lot more careful with the those High Templar really. They were they were in front in the front of his army. Uh, just because they got warped in uh, at his natural, so when he uh pretty much 1A his army back. Um, they did get caught out position while my mouse went spastic. But keep in mind that this high yield is currently uh, operational. At the same time, Light going to be trying to establish his fourth. Keep looking out for him to take down these rocks and uh, take down these rocks very soon. And um, yeah, I really like the change to High Templar. Would not mind a uh, Dark Shrine going up as well. But it looks like that Light's going to be getting his upgrades right now. Feeling a little bit late. Um, and a bar going to be getting at the ghosts as well, just throwing down the uh, energy upgrades so that MP will be ready. His infantry currently at 1 1, his tanks are not at anything, but um, keep in mind that Light does not actually have any upgrades. He should be 1 1 very soon, but it looks like a slight skirmish here at the mid ground. Going, guiding Shield going up, and uh, these Templars do have enough for Storm, I believe. Zealot's even charging in right there, and um, more and more units actually getting up a nice comp game uh, with these Colossi and spreading them out, wiping out all those tanks, and the Bible is just melting to the sheer amount of Colossi that are currently on the field. Zealous doing a nice job of tanking for all these Colossi, and uh, no ground army to support these Colossi at the moment, but with the sheer number, I think that light's going to be okay to put on, put on a little bit of pressure. And really, I would like to see Light change up to a lot of Blink Stalkers right now. But it looks like he's going to be reinforcing with a lot of Zealots instead. Getting up his fifth base at the same time. So a lot of uh, good macro coming out of Light. Just taking advantage of, of all the... Uh, all the all the defenses really that he's shown. Uh, here comes the probe transfer as well. Let's take a look at the units tab. Once again, 75 probes to the 65 SCPs of uh, a bar. Archons being warped in, morphed in right now. Uh, I love Archons, especially since the patch. They're so strong and uh, just able to get that extra range. Just very, very, very nice. 
Uh, it's it's about as good as when Roach has got that patch, uh, the same patch, but uh, not nearly as vital just because Roaches are more used. And now we see that the Planetary Fortress is finally going to be up. And even though that the work count isn't too crazy, I mean, like, yeah, Light's got a, sh a clear advantage, but with Mules, you know, a bar may be able to balance out. But the story here is going to be a worker distribution. Um, yeah, a bar definitely does need to take a fourth base just to distribute his workers because his, his natural's kind of mining out. His main's already mined out. We take a look at Light. His main is, is kind of, yeah, it's mined out. Um, his natural is... is getting there but he doesn't have that many probes here his third is is all right um his fourth is is full his fifth isn't even up it's just being completed right now and uh here comes light looks like perhaps for the killing push all these units actually being caught out of position right now the tanks are not sieged and uh emp going off very nicely right there able to whittle down a lot of these archons but with the ghosts um just the ghost numbers not able to get up there and a bar does call gg to the amount of colossi right here not getting any of those Vikings out, which I think was uh, a little bit of a misstep. So it looks like that game one will go to Engine Light in this best of three from the uh, round of 16 UCID qualifiers. Thanks for watching.